city of good neighbors shined brightly in the heart of downtown Buffalo tonight. More than 1,000 people coming together to show their love and support for the victims, their families, and the entire community. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller was there. 50 people are dead, and if you can't feel emotion because of that, you can't call yourself a person. Just a week after Buffalo's colorful pride celebration, rainbow flags are once again flying in downtown Buffalo. But this time, the mood more somber as more than 1,000 people gather to remember the lives lost in the Orlando terrorist attack. This is June, the month of pride. Uh, it, it, it was total shock. Of course, along with shock, it's along with the reality that we've had to live for decades through fear. But Renee Robinson says she, like so many others here tonight, is not living in fear. We're not afraid of it. Signs reading Love Conquers All and RIP were held high as local leaders addressed an emotional crowd. This attack on the LGBT community affects all of us as Americans because it's an attack on our diversity and what we're all about. Buffalo's vigil was one of many happening around Western New York and the nation, and with security at LGBT events at the forefront, Buffalo police officers were posted at most every corner, watching over the event, keeping it peaceful. It's about freedom, that we all need to be who we are, and I just had to come to at least express some of the sadness that I'm feeling. Things are not perfect in this world, in this country, and we still have a long ways to go, but it's also a reminder that we will stand together for a very long time. The Peace Bridge tonight lit in the colors of the rainbow. That is just one of many landmarks across the nation illuminated tonight to show support for those in Orlando. Reporting in Buffalo tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.